everyone. Yes, so we're coming here. I met some of you before already. Me as a support facilitator of MIFQ again. <laughs> Just you in case anything? you forget me. I actually don't have a PowerPoint because I prefer people to look at me. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, actually I didn't prepare a PowerPoint. <laughs> But I will have some information sheet to give over later on as a gift. And I'll be yeah. watching to make sure everyone is actually looking at Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to start with, um, yeah, why we initiative um, yeah, this project is because um, yeah, when we have some participants coming into our program, some people they say to us, uh, oh, actually, yeah, I haven't um, yeah, looked into my um, dental health for a long time. And I feel that uh, when I go out to see my friends or when I go out to have a job interviews, I feel that people are looking at my teeth and I just yeah, don't feel confident. And um, over and over again, a few participants, they came up with the same thing and we decided to look into this particular area to see how we can maybe help a little bit and also find out, okay, yeah, what's stopping you from um, yeah, getting access to a dental service? Or um, yeah, what's stopping you from um, yeah going um, yeah make a phone call to do the inquiries? So we find out that actually there are some um, yeah different areas or different um, yeah concerns that people have. The first thing, of course, um yeah is I just don't know how to get out there, or I don't know what's out there that is available. And the second thing is um yeah some people they would think that oh it will be very expensive whenever I go to a dental service, even a general check it will cost me nearly two hundred dollars already. And a lot of people, if yeah, they're on a pension or on the welfare system relying on that income, they just, they just yeah, cannot afford it. And then the third thing is, um, oh, because I just don't want anyone to get around my mouth area due to some past experience or maybe other um, yeah, mental health issues or maybe anxiety. Um, so we are trying to look at these few things and um, yeah, go from there. So in terms of the stages of where we are at, if um, yeah, we have 10 stages, we are at about um, yeah, the fourth stage where we are trying to identify who will be our partners and um, yeah, who's willing to come on board to, um, yeah, to work out this project with us, I guess. So um, yeah, so far we have the oral health, um, yeah, the public system, like um, yeah, if um, people are familiar with the north side system, you, you know um, yeah, the same gate. Um, clinic, Stafford Clinic and the City Area Clinic and also UQ, University of Queensland. They have a project there where they um, you provide the free dental treatment including those major dental work as well and also National <laughs> National Dental Foundation. <laughs> They actually provide some free um, yeah, sessions around different clinics, but why working with them is um, they need to have information coming from the community sector so that they know what areas that they target to. So for example, um, yeah, this year and last year, they had some free sessions um, yeah, on one day at the Rochdale area. And um, yeah, I don't remember they actually yeah, came to the North Side area, but they need um, yeah, our information. Um, yeah, for them to find out, um, okay, yeah, so actually, yeah, where do we need to go to provide this service? Because they need to liaise with um, private dental services who are willing to provide that volunteer time and day um, yeah, for participants or for people who are in need. And on another side of it, actually, yeah, they are very happy to provide some education sessions for people as well, as same as the UQ School of Dentistry. Yeah, because uh, another, <laughs> yeah, my um, yeah, public speaking nerves. <laughs> I'm entitled to have that as well. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, with um, yeah, another one. Yeah, they, they are very willing to go out to um, yeah, do some community session for um, yeah, different people because another area that we identify is people lack of information of um, how important oral health is. It's not just around um, your teeth, but also your gums and also the yeah, other area, especially if yeah, people smoke or maybe um, yeah, they have all of their teeth removed because of various reasons or maybe um, due to past substance use, anything. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know, some people maybe they go without teeth for a long time, but they just yeah, don't want to get to look at that. They, they think it's very, yeah, very expensive for them to um, yeah, replace them or maybe to get a new set of teeth done. But actually resources are out there. So how to let people know that resources are out there and also um, yeah, oral health is important. That's another thing. So um, yeah, now a few 
um, sessions and meetings yeah, are happening, knowing that UQ and National Dental Foundation, they're willing to provide some free sessions um, to the community, including families and carers and also consumers and also health. So we're trying to create a network to see, okay, yeah, where do we have the venue to provide those sessions? How are we going to promote those sessions? And another thing is we are looking at the report that's called Australia's first national oral health plan, although that's not focusing in the mental health area, but it's, it is a 10 year plan in the oral health area from 2004 to 2013. Five areas they identify is oral health promotion, accessible oral health services, systems alignment and integration, safety and quality, workforce and research and evaluation. Sounds very much like mental health area when yeah. <laughs> you look at that. So they are looking at all of that and um, you're going to roll that into 2015, 2024 into that area. But if anyone is interested to look into um, yeah, the area into mental health in specific, actually it is a report out if you would like to look at that. And I have the website here for you. I'm not going to read that out um, yeah, any further. But um, yeah, this is um, yeah, where we're at and um, yeah, what we're going to do. Mm -hmm.